Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Behind me, I have my first ever Brinkley. This is the 2024 Brinkley Model G 3500. And let me tell you, first thing right off the bat, first experience in one was about 30 minutes ago when we were kind of setting this thing up and turning it on. The hype for Brinkley is real. This might be the most well put together camper for the price segment but it's also got all the Easter eggs you could possibly want. I mean, there's hidden storage all over the place, hidden dog tray. The island flips up to make extra countertop space, really cool LED lights, pull out more ride trays. Everything in this is just well thought out, well put together. You know, not even any staple holes or anything like that inside of the trim. You know, it just looks absolutely fantastic. So today we're gonna spend about 15 to 20 minutes breaking this thing down. And then since I don't know an overly ton about Brinkley. This is more of kind of a reaction, walk and talk video, but I'll probably make a really well thought out, break down every inch of this thing over about an hour long episode, you know, here in the coming weeks. I definitely got to sit down and study this bad boy up. But for now, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, you will find down in the description, along with my contact information. I am teaming up with Funtown RV, and I have access to all 17 locations inventory to give you guys some incredible deals on wheels. So make sure to check out the link down in the description for that, or my contact information in the top right, right there. The specifications and the floor plan should pop up on the screen. But let's go ahead and get right into it. 15 to 20 minutes inside, then outside. But again, this is the 2024 Brinkley Model G 3500. This is their toy hauler model. And truth be told, looking at it from the outside, if you didn't see it, that was dropped, you would not guess that this is a toy hauler. This design is so sleek, so different. I love the black, I don't even know what you call that, accent decals. Even the Brinkley logoing is pretty cool. I'm fangirling right now. I mean, this is incredible. So right when you walk in, this is what I'm talking about where you wouldn't know that it's a toy hauler unless you saw it. It is light and bright. The decor team absolutely crushed it. I don't know what those lights are called, that little pendulant lighting, but I mean, that's highfalutin. That's just cool to look at uh, in general, but it also hangs down. It's got that little platform with the accent lighting. Now this is that island. It's all gonna be solid surface on both sides. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. But it's got great accent lighting. This is gonna be a little pull out dog tray right here. So that's what I'm talking about. This thing has like little, little Easter eggs, you know, all over the place. This cascading waterfall look right here. This will actually flip up and right here you pull this out and it lays on that to kind of make that little kind of L situation back there just to increase, you know, the countertop space, increase the prepping space if you're doing some cleaning. You're also gonna get good walk around room here in general because of the dual opposing slides and the slide height is fantastic. Really comfortable couch right here. The middle two pop out on one of those little pull strings. The other two are all gonna be, you know, the electric, and you see they do have, oh, I'm sorry, they're all on the pull strings, but this has vibrate and heat, and then you got the USB built in as well. But even right here, boom, hidden storage, and guess what? It's on that strut system right there. So you push down a little bit, doesn't fall. But it's not clanging and banging, it's got the soft close. Look at around the windows. One, these are actually built into the window too, which I thought was pretty darn neat. It's actually on its own little track, so you're really not gonna have any issues with that. Tinted windows as well, but massive space for these because the slide height is pretty darn large. I'm six feet tall. I'm gonna guess somewhere like around seven feet, so I like seeing that, but again, it's all built in, and guess what? That is all fit and finish, you know, to the gills right there. I mean, I'm just amazed by this thing. Truthfully, truly amazed. And that doesn't happen too often because I'm in these RVs constantly. So you got another little hidden storage over there. Let's come back over into the kitchen, the sink area. A lot more countertop space. You got the brass finish here for the cabinetry. But all of the storage here, you notice those little black tracks on the side? It's because you can adjust these. So, you know, make it how you want it. If you want to remove one completely, if you want to make it bigger, smaller, whatever, you know, you have the ability to do that. And you notice also, again, the soft close. And you got those metal tabs right there to hook up with the magnets so things aren't clanging and banging while you're driving around. And it's got some pretty good force on it as well, as you can see. More storage, again, on that track. And you're going to see that that's going to be on a theme. And then you notice here, too, look at that. You got a couple little handlebars. 
So I haven't seen this before. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, that is just too cool. I'm nerding out. I am nerding out. I could imagine putting like a little knife set right there. I mean, how badass would that be? The sink, high rise faucet, whoosh, 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 hitting those dishes from all angles. A little viewing window right there. You got the, you know, fancy pants little drying rack with the black stainless steel undermounted bowl. And then this whole thing is going to be storage there as well. So a little place for your cleaning brush, clean cut storage, and access to your plumbing. And look how well put together, you know, even that is with a little outlet. You also got four drawers. And then back over to that island, you get a lot of good functional storage here as well. So this is going to be perfect for, you know, your paper towels. Pull outs right here, so two of those. And then let me pull out this first. So this is the two trash cans. And why I wanted to pull that out first, one, let's go ahead and show you that. But you got a little dresser drawer right there. But then right here, look, you got the cutting board. And they even thought about adding a hole right there. So as you're chop, 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 shh, boom, right down into the trash can. Just again, thoughtful space that nobody thinks of. I know I sure did it, and I'm glad Brinkley did. Accent lighting there above the cabinets. All of these are going to be GE appliances. So GE refrigerator, GE oven, GE microwave. You know, that's just nice to have. You got some... Uh, not sure what the word is. Synchrosity, synchrosity. I don't know. Who knows? I'm trying to get fancy now. I'm in the Brinkley for six minutes. Here I am. Synchrosity. So right here, look at that. Absolutely massive. Adjustable shelves. It looks cool. Who doesn't like a hidden pantry? Especially for one that is this large. You also got a pretty incredible size lip right there. So you're going about two knuckles deep on that bad boy. Some pull-out drawers. And then another place, you know, maybe for some like you know, trash bags or something. But it's really cool. You want more? You got more. No wasted space. A little bit of countertop space, you know, but nothing too much to brag about there. A little viewing window. Convection microwave. Storage here up above. And drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this video, you know, and of Brinkley. Hit that like and subscribe button if you've made it this far. You know, we just had Thanksgiving, and you could absolutely have Thanksgiving on the road in this, because this GE is going to be rivaling the size of the Insignia, uh, which, to my knowledge, is the largest in the industry. Storage up above the fridge, but this big old GE refrigerator. It's got a good old size inverter, so when you're driving down the road, you can still use it. But you could easily pack away a week's worth of food. You know, absolutely no problem. Freezer drawer's got a center partition that you can remove or slide around. And then you also got another section right here. And you're going to see, got a little place for, you know, some ice makers. So I won't turn on the speakers just because I can't because of YouTube. But right here, you got your Rockford uh, Fosgate. Absolutely bumping. And, the, and back in the toy hauler section, you are going to see that. It is going to come to life. Now, this is going to be your entertainment section. So you got a TV. You know what to do there. Watch some movies. Put some Netflix on. Do all that good stuff. You also have a fireplace that puts out some incredible electric heat. Save some money there at the campground. They even got the Brinkley you know, logo right there, which is pretty darn cool. But what you don't see, what you don't notice, because the fit and finish is so strong on this, there's actually cabinets built in. I mean, I would have gone through this if one of the techs didn't show me when we were turning it on. I would have walked past that and never knew. I mean, look at that. This is where I'm saying I know I'm going to miss stuff in this video because there's just hidden stuff everywhere. Those are all soft clothes. Up top is going to be more of the same. So both sides open up here. Just a lot of cool stuff. I mean, you could hide any sort of valuables or anything like that in there that you wanted. I'm going to head back into the garage area. But first, give you one more little look around in here. Tough flex flooring, and you're going to notice those three black lines right there. You can actually peel this portion up, and then you got that little area where you can use it for, you know, tie downs for like, you know, your bikes and all that with those round little, uh, I'm not sure exactly what they're called, you know, because I don't ride bikes or nothing like that. Uh, but people that do will know exactly what you can do there. So this is going to be the other control. Another thing I found really interesting about the sound system in general that they put in, 
each individual room. So, you know, you have the garage, okay? You have the living room, the bedroom, the outside. They can each play individual audio or you can sync the rooms how you want. So if you want the garage and the outside to play the same thing but the bedroom something different, you absolutely can. They dovetail the end of this so that we don't have to worry about botting them out, you know, your toys. You also got a couple openings, you know, to let some airflow. If you got some like, you know, heavy kind of gas burners type things in there, some ATVs that are going to let out, you know, a little bit of fumes. And then pretty classic for your toy hauler, you got your rollover sofa. So that will drop down. You can either make it, you know, two couches or roll over into a bed or simply flip it up against the wall to optimize headspace. And then up above, you have roughly a queen size bed up top that drops down, something a little bit more comfortable and suited, you know, maybe for the adult that's traveling with you. The LED lights coming up the top, I have never seen LED lights like that before. It is great light, but it's also soft, so it's not blinding. I'm doing a little stair test right now as we speak, and it's not hurting my eyes. Might later, but um, you know, it's looking good. I also like how they have this three season screened in door. So you got kind of the inserts right here with kind of that, I'm thinking glass, and then you have a screen. Obviously you got the pull, the pull tab so you can yank it and you know close it in or completely remove them if you'd like. And then you go back into a zero gravity door here in the back uh, with a railing system that I haven't seen before too. So I don't know if that's a Brinkley exclusive or if that's something new coming out by Lippert and it's going to be on everything, but it's a really sleek design. You know, just imagine playing some cards, playing some games, maybe putting a dog out there or just kind of enjoying, you know, just in general, a good view. That's going to be the view that you're going to get here from the back patio, even right here. You got your Thule crown awning, so that's going to come out, provide some great shade for you. You have a backup camera, so that way you can see what's going on behind you with some distance markers. And then, you know, obviously that awning is pretty fantastic. But look at these speakers. So you're going to have, you know, two of them over here, and then two of them over here. And I'm telling you, we had it at like 40% volume, and it was already bumping. I mean, I... I saw a video where the other sales guys at one of the locations had it from like 150, probably 150 yards or so away and they could hear it. Uh, absolutely incredible. You're also going to notice you have a TV and a loft. So you have the ability to watch some TV in here, sleep some extra folks or possibly some extra storage. You also got the outlets that you need. And then you also have, you know, the old half bath and even the magnet for the door is pretty cool. Damn, that's actually pretty strong. So right there, it kind of cups in. That is way stronger than I thought. And then you got a half bath, really tall with the max air fan, helps suck out the old, uh, the old stink rooney Solid surface countertops, black bowl right there, just looking sharp. You know, a little sink. And then of course you got your, your porcelain foot flush throne. A little tighter for a big guy in here, but you know, your left shoulder would be sitting on it, but your, uh, your right would be good. Probably sit on a little bit of an angle just like that. You're sitting down just fine. You even got a nice little window if you want to play friendly neighbor. Hey there, how you doing? Throw me a brewski. All right, back into the living room. Big massive slide, built-in shades, hidden storage all over the place. I cannot wait to learn these things more. If you guys got any good resource, I'm gonna start watching videos the second I get home. So it's gonna be that touch screen. So you can check all your different temperatures for your room, all your ceiling lights, you know, your monitoring panels, your awnings, control the bed lift, you know, all sorts of stuff. Everything can be controlled, you know, right here. That's probably worth a video in and of itself just to kind of, you know, help people through it. Heading into the bathroom, clean, sleek design. Again, you got the four cabinets here all around. Even the bathroom has adjustable shelving. So, I mean, they have literally thought of everything, even the shower where the drain is. I love how it has that grate above it. Tri-glide glass series with, oh man, that is awesome. If you guys watch my videos, especially recently, because I'm putting out so much more content here now that Funtown's kind of like unleashed me on all their inventory. You guys will notice this is a theme because every camper I've done for the last five days has had this. I freaking love that shower head. I love the LED lights. I'm six foot, 300 pound of Roonies. That cruise set me back. I got down to 289 before I left for that cruise and then pounded nothing but mojitos and food and it was delicious. But now I'm back to business. I mean, I don't... <laughs> when have you ever seen that in an RV? 
I know that answer. Never. Unless you have walked into one of these, you have never seen that. That is so freaking cool. Again, the old porcelain throne foot flush. Place where you can hang up a couple towels. And then you got the uh, Max Air Fan window right there. That's the control for the Max Air Fan, along with a couple outlets. And then let's head into the bedroom. So east to west slide, my favorite position here because it gives you all that walk around room. I'm going to guess probably about four, four and a half feet or so. You know, so that's nice. The storage that's underneath too isn't on a lift up system. You actually get four pull out drawers. You know, so that's pretty cool, thoughtful, easier to use, you know, better for longevity, I'm sure. Little window above, reading lights that are adjustable. Kind of reminds me of like the little Pixar one that kind of hops around. Same kind of theory. There's a couple pivot points. USB, USB. Another little nook there for some storage. The GE appliances still continue here with the AC. Really quiet, really efficient. Puts out plenty of uh, plenty of juice there, man. It'll cool you down in a quick. The Philips, the Roku TV. So again, YouTube TV. Netflix, Amazon Prime, whatever you want to do. Watch the game, watch a movie. You're riding in style. Another big window, and this is an emergency exit, which you can tell from those red tabs. Pull, push, and plop. You can get out in a hurry if you need to. The top three drawers are going to look like this. Bottom four are going to look just like that. And then right here, a little hidden storage right there. So maybe put some valuables or some stuff, you know, just in case. This corner storage is on a little bit of a tilt. Well, a lot bigger than I thought it was about to be. Ooh, washer and dryer prep. Nice. I knew that was coming, but still a cool spot for it. And then right there, more storage, no wasted space. They even kind of veed that out, you know, just to kind of fit it in there. And then up in the closet, uh, it took me a little while to figure out the lighting system on this. I didn't know where the lights were. It was a little dark. The switch is going to be right here. But look, where you're going to hang the clothes doubles as the light. So I don't know who thought about that, but that's pretty brilliant. The design team on this is fantastic. I imagine them just throwing some wild ideas at these people and just say, get her done. And they definitely do. Two extra stools there. Lots of good storage. Look at that. Even the construction, how it's kind of beveled out right there with the screws. But let me know what you think. I'm going to do a much more detailed tour on this here once I get some time, get some knowledge, you know, in general. Battery monitoring right there. Uh, but let me know what you think. Hit that like and subscribe button. This is the 2024 Brinkley Model G 3500. And now let's go ahead and head around the outside. If you miss it the first time around, all the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, all that good stuff you'll find down in the description of this video. Another thing that I think is pretty darn cool and pretty darn unique, the entire side of this is going to be essentially one massive awning broken up into three. So one, two, and three. And look how strong those LED lights are. They look fantastic. Just a seamless approach. You have the square windows that are going to be frameless and even the kind of the decals, you know, kind of run over it. And you usually don't really see that unless you're looking at something like a mobile suite, you know, or something like that. It's just a nice little way of you know adding to kind of the luxury and you don't notice it you know when you're on the inside as far as I could tell. More ride storage drawer that pulls out over here. I'll show you that there on the other side. But you got your pass through storage and it's got that tough flex material. You notice no exposed wood. And then you have welded on both sides. Propane. I'm sure there's a light back in here. What's going on? Storage light. All right, cool. Now I'm not fancy enough to get into what all that is, but I definitely will here be soon. Will here be soon. Ha, huh, my name's Hunter. I will here be soon. Look at that LED light. Look at that LED light. This thing shines like justice. Now this is important too. So I opened up one and closed the other. But that's actually one walled off section and then it's held up by this magnets right there. So that way you can optimize the space there in the front or you can partition it off to kind of separate. You also got kind of that beat me up plastic in here too, which is a big time plus. Right behind this door, one, it's a magnetic slam latch door, which is a plus with metal, but the Everchill, look at that. 
That is a refrigerator. You can fit a 24 pack of apple juice in that bad boy. Absolutely no problem. The more ride entry steps, and these are the kind that when they flip up, they go nice and flat. Very cool, very sleek design on that one. Six point hydraulic auto leveling, triple axle, dual entry. So that's gonna be into the garage. I'll show you this backside here. This is what that garage kind of looks like, you know, from, uh, from over here. And it just snaps right in. So you just, well, and then you push like that and then you can go all the way in. And then, I mean, that's just really easy to set up, you know, take down all that good stuff. Don't forget again, the Thule awning, the backup camera, making life nice and easy. You have a power cord reel as well, which is pretty darn nice. And then you also have the, uh, the pump station right here. So if you're going out with some toys, fill it up, little mini gas station, you know, you're ready to rock. Outlet connect or sewer connection right there. And what's nice too is they're all on electric, so you don't have to do a pull tab. Black tank flush, it's basically a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. And then again, the more ride trays. And this is kind of a theme about, I cannot wait to get into more Brinkley. I just think these are so cool. So this is gonna be the same as on the other side, but nice, deep, functional storage. You're not digging through a big old storage and they didn't waste the space by not putting something there. So I like seeing that. You got another one over here. That was that power cord reel I was talking about. You got another one right here. That's got the ladder to get on top of the roof. So that's that Lippert on the go ladder, which is always nice, which is prepped right there. So you simply just hook it in, expand it down. You're getting on top of your roof, checking your seals, checking your slides. Now you can put slide toppers on this as well. So boom and bang. I recommend a slide topper because it helps you protect your investment for the long haul. You don't have to worry about, you know, leaks or anything like that. You just gotta, you know, without them, you gotta get up there, check it, make sure there's no, you know, tree branches, pine needles, anything like that. Kind of depends on, you know, where you're camping. You got two side cameras as well, one here and one on the other side. So when you're driving down the road, you know, that's the view that you're gonna be getting so you can check out your blind spots. And this is that front area. You got your power disconnects right over here. That's what I was talking about, that magnetic door latch. And then right here, what's under here? I didn't even open this before. Okay, look at that. You got your Jenny. Smart lithium ion. Very cool, very, very cool. And then you got your Gen Y pin box. I don't know much about these, but I would assume just by looking at this big mamma jamma that this thing makes for a pretty comfortable towing experience. I don't know, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about that. You guys probably know more about that than I do. But then we're back up to the front cap and you notice the LED lights, you know, aren't exposed. They're kind of built in just like it would be, you know, on in a, uh, like on a car. But all right, guys, let me know what you think about this Brinkley. Hit that like and subscribe button for future RV content with teaming up with Funtown RV. I'm telling you, I have so many videos to be pumping out. This is a great opportunity. Cannot wait to take advantage of this fully. This is the 2024 Brinkley Model G 3500. My name is Hunter. Have a great night. See you.